Did you know that a child with special needs is more at risk of developing scoliosis in their spine? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to talk about the three reasons why a child with special needs is at a higher risk of developing scoliosis in their spine. So here at My Favorite Physio, we see lots of little ones who have special needs. It is important that we are always mindful about their spine health and preventing scoliosis from developing. Scoliosis is the curvature of the spine towards the left or the right. So usually when you look at the spine straight on, it should be nice and straight and not curving left to right with rotation. Now the reason why children with special needs are at a higher risk of developing scoliosis is one, there's often a muscle imbalance from the left or the right side of the body. For example, a child who may have hemiplegic cerebral palsy where one side of their body is affected and they're weaker versus the other side that is functionally normally. What will tend to result is there's a preference towards one side as a child tends to lean to their stronger side. And so over time, that would mean that their spine is pull to one side because they're using the muscles on one side of the body more than the other. Other examples of things like that happening is a child with Erb's palsy where they have the nerve damage to one arm during the birth and labor process. So they might not use one arm so much and you'll see that there's a rotation in the spine because again, that muscle is being used more often on one side. The second reason why a child with special needs may be at more higher risk of developing scoliosis in their spine is because of muscle tone. So if you have very low muscle tone, you might be always slouching and falling to one side versus also if you have a higher muscle tone that's causing you to twist and spin over to one side, it may again cause your whole spine to rotate constantly towards one way, resulting in a scoliosis developing in the spine. The last reason why a child with special needs may be at a higher risk of developing scoliosis is if they're not mobile. So if a child isn't able to um, crawl or walk and they're often sitting in the same position, then that's likely that over time your spine's going to curve that way because you tend to fall towards one way sitting in that posture for too long. So really, given the three reasons why a child with special needs may be at a higher risk to the spine developing a scoliosis, it is important that we are proactive to prevent that. So we could be either using customized dynamic body suits to hold them up, to keep them more upright so that they're able to function more equally. We could be thinking about sitting systems that would allow them to be supported upright so the spine remains straight at all times. If there's muscle imbalance or spasticity, we could be doing radio shockwave therapy to reduce that spasticity so that it doesn't constantly pull their bodies to one direction. So there are many things we could do to proactively stop scoliosis if we are even just aware that sometimes when a child has increased muscle uh, pull on one side and imbalance in their muscle, increased tone in their muscle, or they are confined to sitting for long periods that we are actively thinking about spine health and checking on their spine health with x-rays. Now, if you have a child with special needs and you're concerned about their spine and you would like to speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists, the number to ring here at My Favorite Physio is 02 
4233. And if you know somebody out there who has a child with special needs and they're now a bit concerned about their spine health, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a great day. Bye.